Okay, remove the USB. And it disappears. Yay! Plug it in. And there it is. And I can make a file. Let's see. Or I can paste something to it. New folder. And it's all working. There it is. And now I'm going to unplug it. And it disappears. Plug it back in. And it comes back. And there it is. It's all working. Alright, you clicked on the video because your file manager on Windows is probably starting to look like this. You plug in your USB, you format it, it assigns a drive letter, but you, when you unplug it, the drive letter stays behind. When you plug the USB back in, it doesn't have a drive letter. You reformat it, it assigns a new drive letter, and so on and so on. And before you know it, you have a bunch of phantom ghost drives stacking up in your file browser here. Well, I'm going to show you how to get rid of this or what I did to get rid of this and have the drive, the USB drive, working again. All right, what I did to get rid of all the phantom drives, plug in your USB, you'll see all those phantom drives up here. Go up to the disk management and find your drive in there. Right click on it, delete volume. And that should get rid of all the phantom drives. If that doesn't work, go into your task manager processes. Look for Windows Explorer in the task. Now all your windows will close except for this one. And then just push Alt, uh, what is it, Control Alt Delete or Control Alt Backspace. You'll see a dialog to reboot, reboot. And that might get rid of all those phantom drives. Now you'll notice here in the uh, disk management tool, here's your USB drive. There's two different things you can click on. This is partition table. This is the format, I guess you could say. And if you right click on this one, you notice there's no change in the partition table. I don't know why that is in this disk management tool. You'll notice this one says convert to MBR. But on this USB drive, there's nothing. So this won't work for us. But just delete the volume. Have your USB plugged in. Now I use this little tool. It's called Mini Tool Partition Wizard. And we're going to fire that up. What is it called? Mini Tool Partition Wizard Free. So you'll notice the USB in here. And there's two different things to click on. This is the partition table. This is the format, I guess you could say. And so what I did is messed with the partition table so to do that you have to come up here delete this and then you'll notice um, after you delete that and then click apply come up here initialize to gpt disk now there will be another one to initialize to mbr if it's uh, already a gpt disk now you have to delete this like that and then initialize now you can try just rebuild mbr try that first and then and uh if that doesn't work try initialize to the first time i got it to work was initialize to gpt disk and then i noticed it started working after i formatted it i just went back and reformatted it, it didn't matter the format or whatever you want to format it didn't matter and it started working on gpt disk and so i thought well Okay, now it's working. I can unplug it, plug it back in. It's remembering the drive letter. It's not, uh, you know, forgetting and stacking all these different drives up in here. And I wanted to know why it wasn't working on MBR. So I went back and did the same thing, deleted the partition, came in here, initialized to MBR, and then reformatted again. And it wasn't working on MBR. I plug it in. After I formatted it, I unplug it, the drive letter disappears, but it stays in here, and then I reformat it again. It keeps adding another drive letter. So I went back in here again and initial did the same thing, deleted the partition, and clicked on this one, initialized to, M, uh, to GPT again, and then it was working. So I thought, well, why wasn't MBR working? 
So I just kept doing that. I went back from MBR to GPT disc. And finally, uh, after the, like the second or third time, I formatted it to MB, MBR uh, partition table. Then it started working. So I went in here, formatted it. And now when I unplug it, let's go ahead and discard all that. So now if I unplug it, it disappears. It doesn't stay behind. And when I plug it back in, it updates it remembers the drive letter usually you know before it was uh, just showing the asterisk right there and it would never show up in the file manager and it would leave behind the drive letter e and then i would have to format it again and then it would go f and then just keep going down the line like that so it's something with the partition table and i looked online for different videos they were talking about going into the command prompt and going into disk part and doing all this stuff in there and it would I couldn't figure out nothing so I started messing with this partition table here and that's what fixed it it's something with the partition table and I don't know why the MBR wasn't working but now it's working you see it's all working it remembers the disk there's the drive it's active and so that's how I fixed it I, I just kept going back from initialize to uh, I kept deleting this and going back and forth from initializing to GPT disk or initializing to MBR and finally MBR. I mean, I guess you could use it on GPT disk because that's what it wanted to work on the first. And it was working fine. But I just wanted to know why it wasn't, you know, every time I would format it to MBR, because I have another USB drive that's just like this and it's formatted to MBR and it works just fine. So I just wanted to know why the MBR wasn't working. So I kept formatting it, you know, back and forth from GPT disk to MBR disk. And finally it started working. So now it's working and I got it formatted and I unplug it. It disappears. I plug it back in and it's there and it's working. There's my folders. I can del uh, delete from it, uh, write to it. Everything works just fine. So I just wanted to make this video because, uh, man, I was looking online and all these people were telling all this stuff, go in here and do this and do this, and I couldn't get anything to work. And this is the only thing that got it to actually work. Everything they told me to do online, doing different, watching different videos and reading online, uh, do, you know, going into the command prompt, doing all this other stuff, you know, disk part and everything. Uh, this is the only thing that got it to work formatting it from GPT disk and then doing it again um, Just keep you know going back and forth creating a different partition table from GPT to MBR and then finally it started working, but you have to delete this So you see those selections there initialized through GPT disk and that's the one that first started got it to work but I just wanted to know why the MBR wasn't working. So I kept going back and forth, back and forth, and finally got it to work. So there it is. Now it's all working, and there's my disk. And when I remove it, it disappears. It doesn't stay behind. And so <laughs> that's fantastic. So there you go. So I guess we'll wrap this up here. That's how you get your drive to um, stop making all those ghost drives and actually starts working. Well, that's how I got it to work. So try that. All right, I'm out.